then dogs will get into this catch me if you can type of behavior where, um, you know, you, we call it boogie butt or whatever. And anyway, you wanted your dog to come to you and you go to try to get him and he just avoids you and he starts running around the yard. It gets very, very frustrating because you're calling, he's ignoring. Sometimes this will happen, especially with rescue dogs, because you don't really know what they've been through in the past. Anytime dogs have been either corrected for not coming when they're called, or sometimes people will actually catch them where, you know, they'll get close enough to the dog and then they're like, ah, gotcha. And they, they reach out and they grab their collar. Uh, dogs will get really, really good at avoiding humans. And what happens is this, this happens a lot too. Like if a dog gets a sock, and you go to try to get the sock and the dog's like, nah, and they go running around the house with the sock in their mouth. Please don't get into that game because dogs love to play catch with each other. You know, so I've got the toy, I got the stick, chase me. They like to chase other dogs. Dogs like to chase the, you know, the other dog. Uh, so it is, can become a big fat game. You will never catch them. They have, um, you know, four legs. You've got two, they corner much, much faster. So um, it's frustrating to get into that. So for a dog that's like that, I would make sure that your dog was always dragging a long line. You can put a harness on your dog, attach the line, you know, like, um, you know, not parachute cord, that kind of thing. Attach that to your dog, let the dog drag it around. If, you know, you go to call him and he starts the, ha ha, you can't catch me. Ignore him, look past them, walk up, step on the line on the ground, pick the line up and you're just like, come on dog, let's go. So you really, really have to get out of that habit. One of the things that you can teach your dog to avoid that whole thing is grabbing the collar. So you can either just step on your leash or whatever you're gonna do. I would, we'd reach for the dog, grab the collar, feed your dog. Reach, grab the collar, feed your dog. These dogs don't mind that, but you're going to have dogs out there, again, if they're rescues or whatever, that you go to reach and they're gonna be ducking and bobbing. You wanna start the, start the food first. So if, if they really have a hard time about you reaching, then you're gonna do food first, collar second, and really get a hold of it. Really get a hold of that collar. It's like, it's okay for me to grab that. Okay, it is a problem. Um, we see it in, especially like I said, in rescues. Be very, very careful of that. Please let us know if your dog plays catch me if you can. It is something that we definitely can work on with you, um, but it is very dangerous for a dog. Once they start learning to run and avoid, it's, it's a really, really hard to get it fixed unless you get some, some professional help for it. Because what happens is the dog gets loose, he goes running around, he's having a great time, then you show up and ruin all his fun. It's very, very hard not to be angry at a dog that's running. First of all, you get scared that he's gonna get hit by a car. And then second of all, it's just like, dang it dog, listen to me. Our voice gets elevated and we start, you know, we get, we start with calm, calm, and then it gets into calm because you want to strangle him. I get that, but that whole thing gets really ugly really fast. So please um, make sure that you let us know or, or at least get some professional help with come when you're called. Uh, it is a very dangerous thing if your dog doesn't understand, don't take off. Again, rescue dogs, who knows? They've been running in the neighborhood or doing whatever for a long time. Um, or never been taught how to come when called. Please make sure that if you call your dog in out of the backyard for a long, long time, food reinforcements, food reinforcements. The yard is fun. There's all kinds of stuff going on out there that's really fun. There's, you know, dirt that they can dig in, stuff they can chase. And then we call them into the house and, and, and they're fun. A lot of times we put them in their kennel so we can go someplace. You need to also practice, call your dog to you, feed him, send him back out in the yard. You know, don't always use come as entrapment. We call our dogs so we can brush them. We call our dogs so we can put the leash on them. We call our dogs so we can give them a bath. Be careful why you're calling your dog.